Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Civilization VI. So, last time we played, we, uh, we sort of won the war against Australia. And anyway, they, we made a very lucrative peace treaty with them, in which they gave us, not only ceded Launceston, but gave us Newcastle, the city that we were trying to uh, siege, and uh, a whole lot of money and resources, which makes me think that, so playing Macedonia is, you know, while it does make it kind of clear that you get the most advantage from taking over cities that have particular districts and wonders, um, and I guess the earlier you do that, the better, because that gives you more boosts, fa you know, earlier. But because Macedonia doesn't get war wariness, it makes it clear that uh, another way to play Macedonia is to basically play, uh, w you know, um, you declare uh, have wars of attrition basically so that you you have you fight prolonged wars um and just not even necessarily win offensively you just outlast you know you, you have the war last until your opponent is so tired of the war weariness that they're willing to give up a drastic reward um for peace and that is something that we can do we just did that with australia um, so now we need to decide what we're going to do. I have a feeling, so Australia really kicked our butt despite, uh, our, um, our having sort of won that war. Um, we might fare better against China. We, of course, don't want it now. Australia won't be able to attack us for, I want to say, 10 turns with a peace treaty. Um, we might want to start moving some of our units across the sea, uh, into Alexandretta. Um and think about declaring war on china next now if we do that we, we will probably still have to leave some forces up here but we are in a good position here um you know as long as australia doesn't get any settlers through here and hopefully they won't be able to but they do have ships um and we would need to expand our border you know our borders can only go up to here and they could definitely get through if they wanted, unless we put another city up here in the ice, and that's probably not the wisest idea. But we could at least um, buy tiles out here. I don't think we have the tile buying civic right now. We do not. But how much would it cost? We have a lot of gold, and I'm kind of... I kind of want to do this. I want that too. Um, that's okay, I'm not in a hurry. Let's just do that to get our borders across, and that way they can't cross here, and they have to go around. I kind of like that. Uh, and these units will also have to go around this way, and that's fine. Uh, we could even put, a like, a fort out here or something if we wanted. Hmm. We could put units up here to prevent their units from crossing. That's something we could do. But they can always go around the sea. Um, and there is some space here that we might want to consider putting a, a city in soon. I think maybe one of the things we'll want to do next, maybe even next turn after we get civil engineering, is change out one of our civics to get more settlers faster. We're building one settler right now. I think we might want to do a new settler push. It's the colonial era, uh, even though the tech is past the colonial era. Um, oh, we captured, oh, we captured that spy. That's cool. Um, okay, well, anyway, we're going to hit next turn and go on. Mm. Oh, this cavalry, right. We need to get uh, this encampment down here. So let's start heading that way. Um, yeah. Yeah, these pikemen are tough um, against our cavalry units, but we'll see what we can do here. Um, I think the knights actually do a little better against them. We'll see. Anyway. At least it's just a pikeman here. Although, if they start spawning cavalry, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Not too much. Anyway, we don't have to worry about being attacked by Australia right now. And our military can actually build up instead of slowly being decimated. Roads. Okay, so we got civil engineering, which is... This is nice, build, being able to build farms genius. on hills. Um, skyscrapers is... Okay. Public works, though. Public works is really great for when we want to do another builder push. We're not going to do that right now. Uh, what did we have here that we were... Were we doing the builders? 
And we lost another military policy as well. What did we lose? Professional army? Oh no, I can't remember. I just showed it too. Um, nothing here looks like it's new. None of the red ones are new. Well, we want to do settlers. So let's do settlers. Um, there we go. Colonization. Um, and then... Yeah, commercial hub districts. I don't suppose we have anything that gives us a bonus per encampment district. No, just that a bonus for building that stuff. Um, okay. Oh, it was the siege one. We definitely had the one that gave us um, better, like, city sieging. And I guess that's actually appropriate that it's gone now, because we this is about the time where we need to stop using it. Um, do we want to keep chivalry? Maybe. Professional army might be nice. We'll put that there. Is there anything here we can get? Barbarians. Um, melee and ranged units. The logistics might be nice right now, actually. Since we're going to be mobilizing some of our army. Um, let's see. Naval units. Recon units. Pillaging. You know what? I want to see... Yeah, close the menu. Let's not do it yet. Are we building encampment buildings? Um, not here right now, but... We will probably want to build an encampment here. Um, I mean, we do have a lot of encampments. You're building a building? A military building? We are always building military buildings. I mean, maybe, we're, maybe it's going to slow down now. Because, honestly, we, we've built stuff up so much. But we might want to we might want to consider that. No, no. Um, government. All right, let's do this again. So uh, settlers, and then um, let's get veterancy. Um, I guess we don't need the unit upgrades right now. I think I will keep some chivalry. Okay. We're not quite ready for upgrades. We're going to get flight in three turns, and then we're going to want to start building some observation balloons. And, oh, we want to upgrade our to artillery. Oh, we're, but we can't do that yet. So what's the next civic? Colonialism in four turns. And then maybe we'll switch to that civic. Is that what we want, colonialism? We are about to start colonizing a lot of stuff. What is that? Oh. Colonial taxes might be nice. Sue's room bonus is nice. Hmm. The Raj... The Raj might be really nice for us, too. Huh. And that gives us... Na yeah, let's just get colonialism. A great person! Another great general. Or our first... No, our second great general. Great. Um, combat strength to atomic and information area units. Retiring. What does retiring give us? Plus five production towards military units. Plus five percent. That's okay. Well, whatever. We'll take him. Or her. I didn't actually look at what it was. Um, okay. Dion. What did you just build? A trader. Oh, yes. Traders are very nice. In fact, build another one since we can. We have the room for more traders. We should build more traders. Uh, yeah. Start repairing stuff. Um... Hmm. I think we have a boost to the military academy, I think. Or was it just... Did I do this stupidly? Encampment districts and buildings for the... No, it should also include the that building. But let's repair the amphitheater. Get some more culture. Um, you are Ma. Yeah, build a factory. That's good. Actually, we really, I really want that silver. Do we have a builder coming up here? We might. Where are our builders? Oh, here's one. You have five builds... I'm not sure where... I bet I bet that's where you're going. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's destroy this thing. Boom. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, where are we? Where is this? Alexandrupoli. What was that noise? Um, well, I guess a military academy, since we do have a boost to that right now, that would make sense. It ups our production and our housing. 
Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Now's the time. Uh, you are going to want to heal up. Let's put you in Launston. You um, start moving down because we might want you moving to China. Oh, I didn't take the friendly unit starting thing. That's okay. I think what we have is more important because we are still building some cavalry and we might as well continue to build some more. Cavalry has high movement, so it is a good unit for this. Um, no, don't pillage road. Uh, you just, are you in our territory? You're not. Let's get you in our territory. Um, yeah, come down here. I want you going across the ocean, probably. Oh, and this builder... Well, you could go to the silver, but it, I feel like you must be going... Maybe you're going to a guy. Um, yeah. Let's move you down here, actually. Okay. You'll be safe. Um, you... Um, we should leave some people in Newcastle. You go to Newcastle. You, I think we'll be okay. I think, um, I'm going to have you move across the ocean. Um, why don't you heal up one turn, though? Or uh, stay here until you heal up, and then we'll move you across. I have no naval units, which could be problematic. All right, this cavalry, how fast... 12 turns, huh? Well, you, it wants you to come down here, so... I guess... Get into the ocean. Just come down here first. Okay. Okay, so this trader... We have a road there. We have roads going all across. Uh, oh. I think now... Well, we have a trader here. Is this trader? All right, let's do this trader first. This trader is going to go down to Alexandrupoli. Cool. And then the other one, I think maybe we'll go from like Seoul down to Methone. Or Methone to Seoul. Let's start in Seoul, actually. All right, so this... Oh, it's Dwight Eisenhower. Okay. That production just isn't a good enough bonus. I feel like he's better with his passive ability. Of course, we don't have those kinds of units right now. So he really isn't doing anything. I'm going to move you closer to where the front will be, but not all the way to Alexandrupoli or whatever that city is. Okay. So you are going to fire at the Barbarian. I believe we've got rid of your encampment, so that's good. So once this guy's dead, we shouldn't see any more. Um, yeah, you heal up. This field cannon. Why don't you come help the cavalry over he here? Actually, I might want you moving towards the front. No, I think we need to keep some people in our in internal territory here, just in case they're more barbarians or whatever. We don't want to be in a bad situation. Major, major victory, huh? Across a river, but on a hill. I want to get in a better defensive position. I'll probably go to the forest. I'm not going to attack from the swamp. I'm going to wait a turn. Though they might attack me. Um... You guys, why don't you come here and heal in our own territory? You have three builds. Um, oh, let's uh, repair over here first, and then I'm going to get you that coal. That'll be nice. This trader, Alexandrupoli. So we had someone going from Seoul. Why don't you go up to Alexandria Troas? There are no other roads to there, so that'll be good. Um, I don't think, yeah, it's a major defeat. You just stay in there as to be able to defend. Ooh, 
Well, we're not going to upgrade you until we get that Civic anyway, so I'll just keep you fortified. All right, next turn. Step closer to flight. Having observation balloons and artilleries is going to be huge. If we attack um, China with several um, several artilleries and an observation balloon, we should be fine, unless they have some giant uh, like cavalry inventory that we inventory uh, army that we don't know about. Um, yeah, sure. Plus three production with a mine here. Do it. This is our new city. Yeah, so you'll do that. You'll get the tobacco, and then you'll go up and get that silver. And that silver will be nice for all our happiness, because we don't have that yet. This builder, I guess you shouldn't do anything yet until we get rid of that musket. Oh, China. They want the the two uh, great works that we took from... from uh, from uh, Australia, and in return, they want to give us... I thought we were getting dyes from Australia. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, that is a lot of gold. But I kind of don't want to get... Boy, that is a lot of gold. What do these do? Oh, no. Um... Hmm. All right. You know what? I'm going to get out of this. Um, I don't really know what those great works do. Where are they? Where's our um, great works? Three culture per turn. Four, um, four culture per turn. And tourism. Maybe they're going... I mean, that's not that much. Maybe they're going for a tourism victory? Maybe I should have taken it. Actually, I might take this guy with my scout. Major defeat, really? What's their... How many hit points do they have? Does it tell me? Um, Alright, I guess I won't attack with my scout. I'll just attack the city center. Is that... Come on. There we go. Maybe I should try to take that trade again. Because we don't... I mean, culture is important. And that is, they are asking like 10% of our culture. It is a lot of gold, though. But we're actually doing pretty okay on gold right now. And if they're going for a tourism victory, we sure don't want to give them that opportunity. Um, okay. Pella built a cavalry. Oxford. Um, I could keep doing that, but let's get a factory going here. Because you're going to be long-term productive. Um, we don't need ancient walls here. You just built a settler. Let's get you a... An encampment. No, you don't need it. Just get a bank. So where are we going to bring this settler? Um, we could send you up here. You know what? I'm having people build some things I shouldn't have them build. Like, Arma. You are... You're building a... Oh, you just finished... Wait, where are we? Oh. Alright, well, hold on. We'll go back to that. Um, so you just built a market. You should build a settler. It's a few turns, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna keep the settler civic. You know what? I say that... Let go. Let go. But actually, do you already have an encampment? You're going to need an encampment. And we have a civic for that, too. Yeah, you're going to need it, this, I think. So this is a good food tile right now, but we will want to get rid of it. We could buy a tile closer out to Valletta. But we do have all these other food tiles here. I could just put it here. Or behind the mountain? Because people might come across here. I think... I think I should push it out further to the right. 245. Just in case they take over Valletta. Or Valletta becomes an enemy. 
which we really don't want to happen, but you never know. Oh, you have a promotion. So why don't we get you in the city, and then you can take your promotion. Great. And let's name you the Tundra Sharps. And you're in the Tundra. Isn't that uh, something? Okay. What were we having you do? I think we were having you come down. Okay, stay there. You, we are going to have... Um, you're in the city limits, right? Yeah. You, uh... I wanted you to rest until healed. Oh, you're the general. You're resting until healed. And you are not doing anything. You, I think, are coming down into the water. Okay. Cavalry. Yeah, you start coming down here. Maybe the roads will be better. We'll see. Right, so you and Sol, I think we're going to have you go to Mithone. For the roads. We want a lot of roads. You, right, you're staying close by. We're going to have you help out with this barbarian encampment, probably. You're going to move to a better defensive spot. And there are probably some encampments down here that we'll need to clear out, too. We definitely want to leave a little force for that sort of thing. Um... This knight is going to fortify till healed. Oh, you can actually attack from here now. Um, major victory? Sure. We'll get some experience this way. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Dwight Eisenhower, you are going to sleep in Alexandria in Arachosia. Um, we killed that musket, so this builder should be safe to do things. You only have two builds. Do we want to... Oh, we just got this pasture. Great. That's what we'll do. Um, this builder, right, is going to get that tobacco next. And this cavalry, I think we're going to send you over this way. This settler, though, where are we going to put this settler? Over here? Yeah, we better look at the river map, actually. Yeah. It would make sense to have something here. Could go further south, but I think the resources here are pretty good. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. It would be nice to be able to get the coal. If we were here, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, here it gets everything. Um, city. Cool. All right. And I think the settler should be safe. I don't see any barbarian encampments around here. Not right now, anyway. And if they take the... There's no one else to take it from the barbarians if barbarians took it. So we'd be able to get it back if, any, if the worst came to worst. Okay. Next turn. Here we go. One turn till flight. Hmm. Tourism on all improvements that provide culture. That's... I mean, it's possible. We could go for a culture victory, which is still the only victory I have not gotten in this game. Oh, whoops. Um, yes, please get that cotton. You have two builds. So I think Australia are just moving these units around to get back home, although they could be coming out to explore. As long as they don't have a settler with them, that's fine. Modern era. Oh, because we got flight. Cool. Construct an aerodrome. We probably will, actually. Our, our civilization is so spread out, and our higher-producing cities are so far away from our enemies, we will probably want flight, if for nothing else, than to be able to transport troops more quickly. Um... And aerodromes and stuff like that. And airports. So now we're going to go for steel and get artillery. That's in only two turns. And in two turns is when we can actually get the, the Civic to upgrade uh, our units. Now, we only have one unit to upgrade right now, actually. Although I think we're building another. Yeah, in two turns. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to save our gold for that. Um, Dion just built another trader. And you can still build one. 
And I think I am going to have you do that, actually. Um, Pidna built a field cannon. Now, a military academy would be nice, but... Settler... Mm. Stuff's are expensive. I think settlers are um, more expensive in this update. Oh, observation balloons. That's the other thing. Now, maybe someone else should build. Do you have an encampment? 13 turns. How much would it cost to buy one? An observation balloon. 960. Well, we can. We can do that. If we. Uh, although we could do that here, too. We could do that closer to wherever we were sieging. So, as long as we have 960, that should be fine. Five turns for a military encampment. How many turns for you to build a settler? Ten. Settlers are just more expensive now since the new update. And you know what, Pidna? I think, I think that is what I'm going to have you build. Oh, that says 12 turns. Is that what it said? I thought it said 50. Maybe it did say 12. Maybe I'm ridiculous. Soul... Oh, wait, no. Are you Seoul? Where are we? Oh, this is Alexandria. Okay. Alexandria just built a shrine. And I think now we can build... Oh, I thought we had a temple. Oh. All right, let's get a temple just so we can get that other stuff. This is our one of our few faith cities. Uh, the water mill is complete here. You are going to want an encampment. And I think we will need to buy a tile. Uh, this is a good tile for it, I think. Because it, it it has um, vision. We could press out even further. Hmm. I know we're spending a lot of money, but this is such a much, just a much better place to put an encampment being right by so much closer to China's borders. People won't be able to come through here or here um, without being um, vulnerable to our encampment. So that's going to be good. Requires ancient walls. Oh, we can't build ancient walls with um, faith anymore. Newcastle. Um, boy, what do we want you to do? Yeah, only four turns for a library. Why not? Uh, you were going to fortify till healed. You are going to do the same thing in here. This bombard... We should have had you be moving. I think we're going to send this bombard down south. Across the water. I should have been having you do that for a while. Um, you also are going to come down here. You're going to get into a guy and uh, fortify to heal. You, um, yeah, get that gypsum. Okay, um, repair this. Beautiful. All right, so this encampment here, let's get you in range. I think this is in range. You'll have to wait till next turn. Major victory again. Okay. We're getting hurt, but as long as they don't spawn anything else, we should be fine. Uh, okay, this traitor. What are we going to do? We might want to... Well, we'll probably want a traitor for whatever city we put here, but we'll, we'll have other traitors come up. Um... I'm going to move you to Alexandretta and get more production there and better roads as well. Okay, two turns for steel. Let's do it. We'll, we'll construct an aerodome soon. Probably. Um, yeah. 
It just makes, I guess it's less movement. Um, you get less movement, but it's just a shortcut going across the sea like this. I think. Could be wrong. Maybe once this road was done, but it's not quite done yet. By Seoul, or below Seoul. Australia's building walls in their little cities. I'm very glad we have Newcastle. Oh, who needs orders? Oh, yeah, get in there. You should be faster on the water. And you are going to accompany. I'm going to explore this route here. Cool. Oh, yeah, pretty good movement. Pretty good movement. And yeah, attack. And you should be able to just take it. And uh, yeah, get back in the city limits and we'll heal up. This cavalry. This cavalry is going to start heading towards our new front or what will be our new front. This builder with three builds left. Hmm. Uh, yeah, why don't you get that uh, coal? This trader. No, you're not going to China. Oh, you can only go to China. You know, actually, it would help uh, our military just having a road here. If we're going to be sieging them and stuff. It might help them too, though. Um... We're gonna be taking it. And we'll probably take Longtsi first. All right. Do it. Interesting. Pasture. And yes, get that tobacco. Um, do we do one more turn? You know, I think that's gonna be the episode. So thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. And subscribe, and uh, mostly leave comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, next turn, we will continue push pushing our military out towards China, um, hopefully leaving enough in Australia for um, any surprises in the future. Uh, continue to push settling our infrastructure, uh, settling in our inland here. Um, yeah, excited to see what happens. So uh, thanks for watching. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.